Let's go out to San Diego and check in with Dan DeMann to get the latest on that injury suffered last night for Jason Worth. How serious was it, Dan? Still too early to tell, Johnny. As you said, x-rays were negative on that left wrist, but there's still kind of some evaluating that's left to be done. Talked to Worth earlier today. The wrist is still a little swollen, and obviously you get drilled by a fastball on that wrist, and it's going to hurt the next day. But Jason's kind of... Uh, feeling it out at this point. He's not going to play today. He probably won't play tomorrow. And then the Nationals have an off day on Monday. So that could potentially give Jason three straight days of rest. At that point, he feels that he might have a better read on how severe the injury is going to be. He might need to go in for an MRI at that point. But right now, he's not able to get one because it's still kind of swollen. So again, the Nats are going to kind of evaluate this on a day-by-day -day basis. The hope is Jason says that it's not as severe as the wrist injury that he suffered in 2005. That ended up not only knocking him out for an extended period of time, but not really letting him get, get back to full strength for a couple years afterwards. So the hope here is that it's just a contusion and that Worth will be back in there without needing to go on the disabled list. But we'll probably have to check in when we get back to Nationals Park on Tuesday. And when you talk about disabled list, Doug Fister is on that 15-day DL. He flew back to Washington from San Diego yesterday. He was supposed to meet with the Nationals medical staff today. Any latest news about that? Yeah, as Steve McCaddy drapes his towel across my shoulder, we'll pass along news on one of his pitchers. Doug Fister, uh, the MRI came back with good news for the Nationals that it's a strain flexor uh, for Doug, but that's not something that the Nationals feel will knock him out for too long of a period of time. The, the elbow is good. You hear forearm issues with pitchers that sometimes, as I mentioned yesterday, can lead to some type of... Uh, issue with the elbow, but the Nationals say that Fister's elbow is good, and Matt Williams passed along the latest with Fister earlier today. Uh, uh, Dr. DeWogi, uh, they had an MRI, and uh, the results are positive. So, uh, you know, the normal thing that everybody does is, you know, he gets shut down for a few days, making sure that it's, it's calmed down enough. He's on some anti-inflammatory medication. Start a little bit of a strengthening program after that and get back to throwing uh, fairly soon. Do you think it might just be a 15-day type of thing, given that he might just need a couple days off before? It, it depends. It depends on how uh, on how long it takes to calm it down. Of course, anytime you've got a strained uh, muscle, then you know you're going to have to sh shut down for a little while and calm it down. So everybody's different in that regard. So we'll make sure that it's calm. And, and, uh, and he feels nothing before he starts that program again. There's no timetable on it though, because we just have to wait till he feels good about it. But that being said, the, you know, the results from the MRI are good. And as we mentioned yesterday, the Nationals won't need to go to Fister turn in the rotation until May 26th because of all their off days. AJ Cole went yesterday, pitched the final three innings, and now he's in the bullpen. And you know, because he's used to being a starter and because he went three innings yesterday, we probably won't be seeing him today or tomorrow, but he could now be a bullpen option for the Nationals until they do need that fifth spot, and then they'll they'll kind of determine where things are. So still kind of awaiting the true word, Johnny, on Jason Worth, and might still be a few days before we have that. But some good news, while uh, Doug Fister is on the DL, it's not as severe as maybe uh, it could have been that, that uh, there are no issues with Fister's elbow, and we'll wait to see. Uh, hopefully he's back here in just a couple weeks. Well, that's good. Good news from Dan Coco out there in San Diego. He'll be along with Bob and F when the game starts coming up in just a few minutes.